Today we're finally going to be talking about Synergy 2. Yes, I heard, I heard. I finally got mine to work. But first, my name is Steve Smith. This is TK Way Weekly. So what is there to explain about Synergy 2? For one, we don't have a user configuration menu made available like Synergy 1, so any demonstration I'm doing today is going to be very short. Second, this is more of a Windows service, which explains why you don't have a user configuration menu like Synergy 1, which, by the way, Synergy 1 is kind of a up there experts required type of application as you may have seen on my previous synergy episode before and the connection style it seems re reminiscent of old school sky pre microsoft so you know using an another server to connect two clients or more than two clients together i'll be explaining my experiences with it how i eventually got it to work mostly and what i think of this program but for one installing the application which does require you purchase the application at seamless.com is kind of the point of this episode if you don't already have synergy 2 don't really have to buy it you can just see it and see how other people complain on the forums but the thing is, is if you want to try it or you already have it you have to install it so obviously you have to install it secondly once it's installed, you have to log into your Seamless account. Doing this will allow you to connect every single one of the computers that you want connected together. And then third, positioning of the computer screens. Now, this is Synergy 2.0.4 stable. And in order to move it, all you have to do is drag and drop, which is actually Synergy 1 had this, but you get the point. However, they don't really have multi-monitor support. So if you had one tower with two screens on either side, you're not going to get that right away. That is actually set up in future versions. And while I'm already on this screen, we don't have a user configuration menu, but there are two things that you should actually think about. So for one, you can force server by hitting F12 on your keyboard. Now, for those wondering, forcing server means you get to use that keyboard and mouse for that specific computer. Then you also have the real-time logs, which you get to see by hitting the tilde. Like that, it's locked to the screen. Also, as you can see, scroll lock actually prevents the mouse from actually leaving the screen. So if I disable scroll lock, I end up on a different computer. And then I can move it back. So for those wondering out there, why is my mouse locked to one screen? It might be that you have scroll lock enabled on any of your computers with Synergy 2. And obviously you're going to have to worry about that. Watch this. Right click, send log or alt S. That is something that's useful for seamless to debug this program. So if you have any problems, you right click and that's the only option that you have other than what I just showed you. So. Let's talk about the connections and how I eventually got this to work. So first of all, I tinker a lot in the settings of Windows when I'm trying to debug problems that people end up giving me. And one of the things I noticed about this is it's basically doesn't require universal plug and play, which is good because I leave that off. Doesn't have anything to do with Samba, which is good because I turned that off too, which I hope you at least turned off Samba V1. And the way it seems to connect is reminiscent of old school Skype, which means there's another server allowing you to connect even the computers on super complicated networks together with relative ease. And I, I'm going to say relative ease because not everybody has an easy time with this. And all the hacks that I saw throughout the forums, like putting exceptions into firewalls and everything did not do anything. Turning off the firewall didn't do anything for me to get these computers to connect. What actually managed to get this to work in my case was the stable version of Synergy 2.0.4. And in this case, what actually made it really work was the fact that I uninstalled the program for the first time and then reinstalled it. And then that seemed to have fixed the problem. And while doing all that, saw that the tilde gives me the real-time logs and that F12 forces server and scroll lock to maintain the keyboard and mouse to one screen was actually suggested from the uh, service center of theirs, the client services, as a means of keeping my keyboard and mouse locked to a screen since I do stream as a gamer. 
So a lot of the stuff that I was having issues with was solved with the exception of two feature sets that we are supposed to have, which are part of the pro feature, which I paid for, but I'm not really livid about since I paid five bucks at the time to be able to have it. These two features are related to the clipboard. So the ability to copy and paste doesn't exist in my case. I don't know why it just doesn't want to work. And obviously the other feature that's missing that's also related to the clipboard is the drag and drop OLE feature, which by the way, I get a drag and drop OLE bug every time I try to drag a file from one computer to the other. These are the only issues I technically have left that might be fixed in a future patch. So do I think my money was well spent? Well, considering that technically I just wanted to be able to control more than one computer at the same time. And that was always going to be ending up with the pro version of the program anyway, especially since I didn't pay that much for it. Why not? On the plus side though, for those that are really livid about the idea of not being able to get drag and drop or copy and paste or still having issues with being able to connect computers together, Seamless will simply refund you. So if it really doesn't work and you've communicated with them and they can't find a solution to you, they'll often send you an email address to go and email. And that email address is refunds at seamless.com. If you uninstalled it and reinstalled it and it doesn't work and if you tried the firewall thing where they tell you to turn off the firewalls, which I don't really suggest and didn't really do anything anyway, and you actually look at the real-time debugging and you actually figure out that you are going against the right wall because one of the weird things is that if you're not going towards the right edge, it might look like it doesn't work. And if you also made sure that scroll lock's not enabled on any of your computer keyboards, you know, if nothing works, just get a refund. Wait for it to be solved later on down the line. But in my case, what really ended up fixing it was the fourth version of Synergy 2 and a clean install of the application, which is something that you might as well try anyway, because that doesn't really take all that long to do. Like if you like it, dislike if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask.tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqwayweekly and become a patron of the show today. Patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.